Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlogs. I hope you are psyching today. We put together an epic edit of Pipeline's worst wipeouts from this past winter. There's some insane rides. We're gonna break them down and I'm gonna let you know my top five wipeouts of the year. It's time to start the music. Woo! picked up over the falls, slammed so hard on the reef. I think I hit my helmet. That was gnarly. I'm lucky. Lucky I broke my board and not myself. insane yeah so i hope you enjoyed that edit that is insane that is what's happening on a daily at pipeline so if you're ever here on the north shore make sure you check it out but we're gonna dive into some really crazy really interesting wipeouts and you could probably learn a thing or two from this edit so make sure you stick around we're gonna dive through some really weird wipeouts right now So I'm gonna break down this clip. This is what I call a cocky barrel rider right here. I've done this before many times. I'm sure you guys done that as well. So basically what happens is you take off on a wave. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. You drop in, you do your bottom turn, you set up, you're in the barrel. You're in this like super sick barrel and then you start the soul arch. You're like, yeah, I'm the man. And that's why we call it the cocky soul arch. Bam! Learn from this video to not do a cocky soul arch because it'll get you nine times out of 10 when you think you're coming out of that barrel of your life. Just stay low, stay ready, and um, yeah, be ready to brace through anything. We're gonna dive into this next clip, Crosby and I don't know, Wilbur Kukemeyer. This is good. Drops in on this wave, beautiful backdoor wave, one of the best waves of the day, gets to the bottom, realizes someone's dropping in on his head. So he looks up and he's probably yelling, hey, get off the wave. And uh, the guy kind of like realizes there's someone behind him and kind of starts to look in the back, go, whoa, well, there's somebody there? No, I don't see anybody. 
pulls around the bottom turn, doesn't even get barreled. Meanwhile, uh, Crosby gets spit out of the barrel. Then the guy realizes that Crosby's on the wave, and he's like, oh, my God, this is, this, this is bad. I just dropped in on someone. And the guy goes to kick out, and he does this, like, weird twirly thing. And then the guy just gets sent over the falls. And lucky Crosby with the wave. That was a sick wave, and it was a crazy wipeout. I just I had to show you guys this wipeout. It was insane. So you don't want to be that guy dropping in on people and not even knowing that the guy is in the barrel behind you. But I got a really interesting clip that I thought I would show you today. It would probably be one of my worst wipeouts if it would have hit me in the head. Check this out. My friend accidentally decided to paddle through the wave on a long board and as he's paddling through the wave, you can see in the clip right there, he gets halfway through and then it sucks him over the falls. Do you see that big fin just go right by my head? If that would have hit my head, it could have potentially ended my career. I could guarantee I would have had the biggest slash across my face and had to go to the hospital. It would have been a career ender on you know, a three to four foot day. So lucky to honestly be alive. And if it would have hit me in the face, it would have been definitely number one on my top 10 wipeouts. But luckily I escaped that one. This next wipeout is pretty classic. I was going for a fins first takeoff at Pipeline. Probably not the best idea. I had the hype, I had the idea. I thought I could pull it off. So while I'm sitting out the back, I decided, all right, I'm gonna try a fins first takeoff on this next wave. I'm paddling around fins first. Everyone's kind of looking at me. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna get the biggest wave here. So as I start to go, people are like, whoa, they're realizing what I'm doing. And I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna just, you know, blow my own mind right here. This is what it's all about. And I start paddling and I realize the wave's jacking up faster and faster and faster. And I'm not in this wave as early as I thought. I start to commit as the board starts whipping. It's too fast. It's already too late and I end up jumping off of it. My front foot hits the board and I get sucked straight over the falls and slammed. I didn't try it for the rest of the winter after that because that one flustered me. We're gonna jump in this next clip. This one is really radical and you can learn a little bit from what I'm telling you right here to apply this to your surfing. As you can see in this clip, the guy makes the drop perfect. He's coming off the bottom. He wants to be stylish and get a big no hand pump. This is the biggest problem right here is because you're fighting against so much water as you let go of the rail, he couldn't engage that inside rail. And this is a really hard thing to do at pipeline. So as you can see, he's engaging the rail and he falls off the backside of his board on his inside of his rail. And this is the worst place to fall at pipeline, right on the takeoff. Just hold onto that rail. You're gonna, you're gonna get through that drop. You're gonna be able to force through that like water volume that's pushing against your board. And just don't make it awkward. Just, just you gotta make your barrel. Just hold on to that rail sometimes. All good, on to the next. This is a pretty critical little wipeout right here. I think the problem right here is what happened is he didn't lean on the wave. Remember, if you're taking off late, try and lean on the wave because the wave is your friend. It's, a, it's another point of balance. As you can see, this guy is kind of hunched up. He's actually leaning over the front rail and his front rail catches and he does this frontward scorpion, not an ideal place to fall because you end up sliding straight down in the lip. And what happens is when the lip lands and it splits the water, you go straight to the reef and you pay a pretty heavy consequence from wiping out like this. Don't do that. Next one is Mackie. He decided to kick out on this massive wave. So as you can see, he's dropping in. He's like trying to read. Maybe I could get a second reef chip in 
And these waves are sometimes the best waves of that pipeline. This thing turned into a mutant. I am glad my buddy didn't just keep going and try and pull into that barrel. He made a decision to kick out. It is probably one of the most beautiful clips, beautiful wipeouts of the whole year. So I just figured I'd throw this one in here is because this is always a good way to exit a, a bad situation as you're jumping off the back of the wave. Just make sure you don't jump too late. Otherwise, I'll pitch you out into the flats. As you can see on this one, he just went flying out the back. Beautiful shot. So so I don't know, just thought I would share that one with you. We're gonna jump into some big, nasty wipeouts. We're jumping into the top five. I hope you're ready. Before we jump into it, jamieobrienshop.com, we have posters on Stay Psyched, and these posters are really cool, really unique and different. This is the dreamy pipeline. This is what pipeline's all about. So if you have a friend, um, you know, birthday to so-and-so, happy birthday, happy graduation, stay psyched, keep surfing, whatever it may be, there is an option on the store to have personalized notes. If not, if you just want to sign one, make sure you check it out. JamieO'BrienShop.com. We got posters. Appreciate the continued support. Let's jump into this. Woo! All right, number five, Tamayo Perry. This wasn't the biggest day at Pipeline, but the way this wipeout was executed was absolutely horrendous. Uh, Tamayo paddling for an inside double up. He is a Pipeline legend. He's one of those guys that's always on the best wave ever. So this wave in particular was really nice. It hit the ledge, it doubled up. It did everything it was supposed to do. Tamayo starts taking the drop. The board's a little too long and it just really didn't fit in the wave. So as you see, the front of his board starts to poke and then gets this awkward like situation where the wave kind of just throws you whatever way it's gonna throw you. And he does this backwards swan dive you know tamayo went straight to the reef on this and this was a really bad wipeout i don't care the size of this wave this is how you don't want to fall because this is the easiest way to break your neck nathan florence you got fourth this winter for the best wipeout this was a very critical wave everything was going perfect for nate he's stalling off the takeoff he's ready to get a big barrel he's hoping that north bowl at pipeline comes together with the west bowl perfect he lets go of his rail after his stall does a big pump realizes that this north wave it's it's like a different direction than pipe likes is going straight into a west wave so what happens is is the wave is like combining its power and it comes together and it vortex is super hard. You take some of your craziest wipeouts like this. So as you see, Nate realizes that he's in a really bad situation, but he's really high on top of the wave. So he goes to jump off his board. And as he's jumping, the waves are coming together and you see his feet hit the water and then it throws him forward directly into the lip line, which there is a really bad chance of actually hitting the reef going head first. I remember seeing this wave going, oh my God, I hope Nate's all right. And luckily he popped up out the back and he was untouched. But do you see the way Nate went head first into the apexing closeout? That's what you don't want to do at pipe. Come on, Nate, don't do this to me. I don't want to watch these wipeouts. On to number three. This wipeout is incredible. Guy's dropping out the back. It's a foamy, frothy, gnarly one. He's about to commit into the barrel. He's looking up, he's going, oh no, I think it's gonna close out. So then he decides to change his line, lose a lot of speed, and he's going straight and he can't see it. But let me tell you, you can't see it sometimes, but you can feel the shadow coming over your head and this thing absolutely axes him. There's so many different things that could happen right here. You could get smashed in the reef. You could break your board. You could um, dislocate body parts, tear your MCL, your ACL. I'm, I don't even know what happened to this guy. I'm sure he broke his board and it ended his, his uh, epic day because this wipeout is really heavy. Number two, the craziest thing is I'm in this wipeout and so is my buddy, Mikey Bruno. Check this out. Number two was crazy. And unfortunately, my name is a part of number two. Paddled out to pipeline. A big 10, 12 foot wave was coming in. I was on a nine foot log. I paddled in this thing, no problem. Start to take the drop. I yell, hell, oh. <laughs> And I'm going down the line and my buddy, Mikey Bruno, 
he starts dropping in on me and I'm going, oh no, Mikey, no, 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 no. And, and Mikey gets to the bottom and then I start to pass Mikey because I had more speed, more momentum. And then Mikey realized that he dropped in on me. So Mikey's trying to get out of my way and go straight. And as you can see on the GoPro angle, Mikey's leash wraps around the front of my board. At that point, I was like, oh my God, this is so bad. This wave is about to like detonate us. And I jump off. I see Mikey like do this like backwards swan dive into the lip. I mean, we're both in very heavy danger right here at this point. I didn't really care. Mikey dropped in on me. I'm underwater getting tumbled, pounded, pounded. Almost had a two wave hold down, popped up one breath. The whole time I'm like, oh my God, is Mikey okay, man? Like this is, this is not a good situation for both of us. I pop up. I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? And Mikey was like, yeah, I'm good. And it was like, I was just like, oh my God, I almost died too. I almost had a two wave hold down. I slammed the reef, Mikey hit the reef. And it was just like one of those things where it's like, wow, we were so lucky that like we survived that. That was a big gnarly wipeout and we had every angle to cover it, three different angles. That to me was one of the most intense wipeouts I had at Pipeline in a long time. And I got to share it with a long time childhood friend. Number one, you <laughs> Get ready, this wipeout is absolutely ridiculous. Maybe it wasn't the heaviest wave, but it was the heaviest like thing I've ever seen. Like right when I saw it, I was like, that was the craziest wipeout I've ever seen at Pipeline. Kalani Jabur and Aaron Fredette, this wipeout really inspired me to make this whole video. Kalani Jabur is on the way first. Aaron Fredette gets a little chip from the inside. Kalani's already coming off a second reef. Kalani doesn't know that Aaron Fredette's behind him. Kalani comes up, does a bottom turn, checks in. This is like the ideal fun pipe wave setup. He's in super early. He's about to like just start to get so shacked. And then here comes Aaron Fredette pulling in behind him and Jabour doesn't even know he's there. And then Jabour gets kind of scared when he sees Aaron. He goes, oh my God, what's going on here? And Aaron pushed Kalani up kind of a little bit higher. So Kalani ended up like falling and then Aaron Fredette went up up and over Kalani's head it was crazy as you can see in this clip he's like and then he does this like front flip judo roll and lands on the front of his board and then Kalani uh, Jabur does a front flip over him and it was just like the whole beach roared it was like oh my god that was insane like everyone wanted to rewatch it and see what just happened I don't know if anyone's ever seen a wipeout like this ever, but that is my number one wipeout for this winter. I hope you enjoyed that video because that was just absolutely insane. I mean, these wipeouts seem to happen if you keep putting yourself in harm's way. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that edit. Number one was insane. All those wipeouts. I hope you could learn a little something from this video. I appreciate you guys. And I just want to let you know, don't forget, click the link right here to subscribe right here to watch more videos. Hit that site counter and make sure you check out jamieobrienshop.com. That's a major key. That's a chance. Mo, mo, mo. I'm your favorite G. I think it's best. Yo, yo, yo. Stop with all the grilling. I'm on jet fuel. Take a note. Clear the runway. Now they cannot clip my wings. Yeah, they